So what we're going to do today is uh, we're going to go back to our pit guard and um, you would have seen us earlier stripping off the white paint and taking it back to its original black colour. Uh, on the back we've just done a bit of clean up to get rid of some of the gunk and glue and stuff that was on it as well. And what we're going to do today is we're going to use some uh, copper tape and we're going to shield the back of the uh, pit guard and then after that we're going to reinstall our uh, wiring harness that you saw us working on earlier as well. So that's the plan for today, to get our shielding installed and reinstall all the electronics as well and then we can do a secondary test to make sure all the pickups are working and our controls are working. And if you remember when we were taking the wiring harness apart and you saw we had some plumber's tape around some of the controls here so we want to see if the controls are going to refit again and are they sloppy or loose and that's why somebody had put tape on and if so we can make any adjustments and improvements that we may need. So as you've seen there we've just put the shielding tape on the back and we used some of the excess that we cut off the back to just cover this last section here. So we're just going to go around the whole thing with a scalpel blade and take away all the excess uh, tape and we'll try and save as much as, a, as we can because we'll be using it again later when we're shielding the cavity. So that's the pick guard completely covered on the inside now with our copper tape. So we're just going to come back now with our scalpel blade and clean out all the pickup cavities and all our controls. It's also worth mentioning at this time that scalpel blades are extremely sharp. And when you do cut yourself you don't even feel it because they cut so cleanly. And it's only when you notice blood on your workbench that you notice the cut. So be careful. So that's our pit guard now uh, completely shielded on the back and so as I said what we're going to do now is going to reinstall the electronics uh, that will help keep everything together and as I said we can do some further testing and make sure all our controls work and as we're doing it we might clean up some of the screws and stuff like that just to get things looking a bit cleaner without going over the top to make them look brand new or anything. So this is where our bags with all our different labels on it come into play so we know exactly what screws to use again when we start to put the pickups back in. So we're just starting to put the pickups back in. So this is always kind of fiddly, um, just trying to get the screws in from one side, springs in the middle, and to get the pickup in as well. So we're just tightening up the nuts here on the pots. And now we're uh, refitting our control knobs and this is the thing we wanted to check whether or not these would move or slip and they're not moving at all so it's strange what that uh, tape was for because just looking at them from the side as well there's pretty much the standard gap you'd get on any Stratocaster there isn't a huge amount of space or anything like that so 
it is strange why that tape is there because as we said the controls do fit they press on very firmly and there's no slipping at all in them so we'll be taking these back off again and uh, to readjust them but uh, yeah so that's worked fine so that's our pick guard reassembled uh, we've got all our electronics in our pickups and our controls and our three way switch as you saw we did our copper shielding on the back so what we're going to do now is uh, we'll just do some testing to make sure all the pickups are still working as we want and the controls are working as we'd like and then we'll disassemble the whole thing just to do some cleaning take some of the gunk off the parts and then we'll reassemble it once more ready to go back into the instrument <laughs> 